distinguished participants, distinguished esteemed audience. So I would like to invite the last speaker, Pakistan Milli Savunma Commission Senator uh, Said Mushahid Hussain. He is in a mission in Italy big, uh, as, uh, in order to uh, have the time. He wanted to speak earlier and if he is uh, connected. So from him, from Karadalı, I would like to give him the floor right now, if that is possible. Yes. Karbe. Thank you very much. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is Senator Mushahid Hussain. A very warm greetings to the leadership of Assam, especially General Adnan, and a special salam to the famous intellectual and guru in Malaysia and the Muslim world, Dr. Chandra Muzaffar. Uh, whom I've had the pleasure of knowing for the last almost quarter of a century. And the other friends from Pakistan, General Hashmat is here, Dr. Wakar is here. And thank you so much for inviting me. I'm currently visiting Rome, but I'm based in Islamabad. Uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, talking to you. I'll be very brief in my comments, in my remarks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are living in a very exciting period of history. There is a global transformation taking place. And I will first start with the changes that were evident in this year, which is coming to a close, the year 2021. Just now, Professor uh, Mr. Kurd made a reference to Afghanistan. I'll start with that because there have been some profound changes. The first change has been in Afghanistan that after 20 years of occupation, after 20 years of war, of 20 years of conflict, uh, the consequences of which were faced by the people of Afghanistan and the people of Pakistan, because we are next door and we host 3.5 million Afghan refugees. The US military intervention ended in a total defeat on 15th of August, 2021. And this also marked the end of the so-called war on terror, which started after 9-11. And please see some of the figures. According to the American Brown University study, which was done in November last year, $6.5 trillion was spent by the United States in the so-called war on terror, leading to 900,000 deaths in Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Syria, in Libya, in Yemen, in Somalia. And 37 million people were displaced, homeless, or they were migrants, or they have to leave their countries, their homes. And 324,000 Bombs, missiles, and drones were dropped by the Americans in the Muslim countries in the last 20 years. But the result is very clear. And 15th of August, 2021, when the Taliban took over Kabul, also marks, I think, the end of the so-called American century. There was talk of the American era. That era has come to an end. And I think Afghanistan has been a very major turning point in that regard. That's the first major uh, uh, focus I would like to say on 2021. The second major focus is that we talk of unity and Assam has been focusing on that. I think the demonstration of the universe, un uh, unity among Muslim countries, and this is a very concrete example, was by three countries, Pakistan, Turkey and Azerbaijan in the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh against Armenia, which is backed by the other countries. And there was a victory for the forces of Azerbaijan backed by Turkey and Pakistan. And there was complete solidarity between these three countries. So this is a good example. 
the rise of what I call Muslim middle powers, countries like Turkey or Pakistan, or maybe in the future Iran, or uh, maybe uh, Saudi Arabia or Indonesia. I think the core of that is what uh, the Prime Minister of Turkey, Najmuddin Arbakan, had talked of in 1997, the D8, the developing country, which is basically Muslim countries, who could form the nucleus of the resurgence of the Muslim world, who have the political will, who have the vision, who have the strength, and who have the capacity to take stands on issues, whether it's Palestine, whether it's Kibris, whether it's Kashmir, whether it's Nagorno-Karabakh. I think that was also a very important development. The third major development we have seen just recently was the hosting by President Biden of the so-called Democracy Summit on 9th and 10th of December, which was actually part of a new divide, a new Cold War, because it has nothing to do with democracy. Pakistan was invited, but we declined to attend. And they were demonizing other countries. They were demonizing Turkey, they were demonizing China, they were demonizing Russia, they were demonizing Sri Lanka, other countries, because they are giving their own definition of democracy. Like India's Modi, who is a fascist and who is dividing Indian society on uh, religious lines, uh, he has been certified as a Democrat because uh, it is for geopolitical reasons. So ladies and gentlemen, we are at a very important era where important decisions are being taken. And there are developments which see a change, a historic change in the global balance of economic and political power away from the West to the East. The great poet of the East, who we consider a national poet, Dr. Alama Muhammad Iqbal, who is also popular in Turkey, popular in Iran, popular in the Arab world. He had mentioned in 1930s, almost 90 years ago, about, he said, see the sun rising in the East, the resurgence of the Asian century. I think we are seeing the beginnings of that with the decline of the West, the decline of the United States, and the decline of Europe. So it is in this context that you are holding this conference and you're talking of unity and union in the Muslim countries. But we have major challenges. And please do not forget that the roots of the current conflict were laid 30 years ago, when soon after the end of the Cold War, the American scholar and intellectual, Professor Samuel Huntington from Harvard University in 1991, talked of the clash of civilizations. And at that time, the Muslim countries were allies of the West against communism, against Soviet Union. But soon after the collapse of communism and the demise of the Soviet Union, they came out with this thesis of clash. It did not come from a Muslim madrasa. It did not come from any Muslim intellectual. It came from the West. And they said there will be a clash between the Western civilization, as they call it, and Islamic civilization. And then they also talked about the Chinese civilization. So you can see that how they were dividing the world on religious lines and also racial lines. So I think it's important that we in the Muslim countries also be very clear about the future. There is a big gap, a yawning chasm, if you will, between the Muslim elite, which is dependent on outside forces, which is based on extortion and uh, also corruption and manipulation of the local people and the Muslim street, the people. The gap between the people and the elite is very wide. And I think that has to be a very major concern. Secondly, we have to have collaboration and unity on the core areas which define us. And General Adnan in his uh, speech mentioned about core areas. One of them he also mentioned national security and defense. And I'm chairman of the defense committee of the Pakistan parliament. And I feel that defense cooperation between countries like Pakistan and Turkey and other Muslim countries, which have the capacity to develop their indigenous defense capability is going to be very important for the future. 
it will lesser our dependence on the Western countries. And I think that is extremely important in terms of uh, focusing uh, on the future. And another element we have to focus is the Islamic diaspora. Because today, the West or Europe is no longer a Christian West. It's no longer a Christian Europe. There are 25 or 30 million Muslims living in Europe. There are members of parliament in Germany and Britain and other countries who are of Pakistan origin, Turkish origin. We have 27 parliamentarians in Western countries who are of Pakistan origin. You have uh, uh, Turkish origin members of the European Parliament. So the world is being transformed. In America, you have a Palestinian and a Somalian lady who are Muslims, who are members of the US Congress. So the world is being transformed. The Islamic diaspora is today a factor. But where we are leading, uh, losing out, ladies and gentlemen, is in the battle of ideas in promoting our perspective, in battling fake news, in uh, presenting our perspective on Islam, on the Muslim countries, like Islamophobia now is a major factor on demonizing the Muslims. And you can see that even the entire war, Iraq war of 19, 2003 was based on a falsehood, was based on a lie. So I think that it's important that think tanks scholars, opinion leaders, especially the people who are present, this diverse and distinguished company, which I'm uh, the honor of participating and I can see on my screen today. Uh, this, uh, they have to take the leadership intellectually and give the guidance to many of the governments, many of the political leaders, many of the ulema also, so that the battle of ideas can be fought and taken forward. And it is in this regard, I welcome the initiative of Assam. I welcome uh, General Adnan's very positive uh, views. And we feel that the time is now ripe to take this aspect forward. Because the shift in the balance of power is very clear. The West and America, I studied in America for four years. I was a student in Washington. The America I knew is no longer in existence. It's a different America. It's a divided America. It's a defeated America. It's a weakened West. So I think that the Muslim countries, now is the time to rise to the occasion, take the initiative and take it forward. Finally, I would say as a Pakistani, I'm very grateful to President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan and the Turkish leadership. They have given always full support to the Kashmir cause. President Erdogan has always led uh, strongly. And I remember when they had the attempt a coup attempt in Turkey in July 2016, uh, the FETO, the Gulenist coup. Pakistan was the first and only country. We had a parliament. I was the mem a member of parliament. We sponsored a resolution of solidarity with the Turkish parliament. And then I led a delegation, all parties delegation from Pakistan. Uh, we visited Turkey in uh, August 2016. We met President Erdogan. We went to the parliament also, which had been bombed. Uh, uh, during the coup attempt, and we express solidarity with Turkey. And similarly, now we have seen this solidarity between Pakistan and Turkey on Azerbaijan. We have seen it on Kibris. We are having a conference of Islamic foreign ministers on Afghanistan and Islamabad today. And the foreign minister of Kibris is also there as a special guest of Pakistan. So I think that the core of these countries can be the Muslim middle powers, countries like Pakistan and Turkey. And we hope that other countries now maybe like Iran or Saudi Arabia, if they can look after their differences in Indonesia and Nigeria, if they can be taken board, on board, we can take it forward. But the core should be what President, Prime Minister Najibuddin Arbakan had mentioned. Uh, and I was there in the D8 conference in 1997, in June 1997 in Istanbul. I was Minister for Information and Culture of Pakistan. And uh, we took part in that D8 conference. But soon after that, uh, Mr. Ajba Khan was removed in a soft coup uh, of the Turkish military, but uh, that was a long time ago. But we feel that uh, the vision that was given about Muslim countries, developing countries, forging a common front on common interests with a common worldview and vision, that is relevant today and that needs to be taken forward. I thank you for your patience and thank you very much, General Adnan, and uh, the leadership of Assam for inviting me. It is my pleasure. And I will be there 
uh, whether I am in Rome now, I'll be going to Pakistan next week, and I'm there to fully cooperate uh, with the Assam for the, our common goals. Thank you so much, and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Evet, uh, Pakistan. Milli Savunma Komisyonu Başkanı Pakistan head of uh, the defense uh, Com national defense commission said said uh, that uh, he touched on an important point uh, Turkey Pakistan and Azerbaijan uh, their togetherness could be used as a Turkish unity and uh, so uh, uh, we can uh, say that how important our uh, Main, uh, uh, meeting is important and Muslims have to work in this and, and I believe that will be successful under the leadership of Turkey. Uh, uh, so uh, thank you. Uh,